your wrench like you asked. Where should we... Could? Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Where is he? This place is such a mess. Maybe he's buried under all this junk. Hello, racer! Ah! Stand by, please. I've got something special to show you behind those doors over there. Better. What is this place? This is our new clean room. I use this place to make sure all our space equipment is squeaky clean. Yeah, uh, hand me that filthy wrench. Hey, filthy? Looks clean to me. Not so. If you look closely with a microscope, you'll see that everything on Earth is covered with tiny living creatures called bacteria. There's hundreds of them. Millions, but give it a quick scrub and... The little bacteria guys are gone. As far as we know, life, like bacteria, is only found on Earth. So it's important that any objects we send to other planets don't have Earth creatures living on them. Nobody's ever found life on another planet? Not even bacteria? Not yet they haven't. Which is why I want you kids to go to Mars and bring back some rock samples. If we find life on those rocks, it'll be the greatest astrobiological discovery in... <laughs> History. Alien life. Got it. But what can we use to scoop up all those rock samples? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the spot. Huh? What'd I miss? Yes, Hawk. A claw is perfect, but covered in bacteria. We need to clean it so we don't get Earth bacteria on our Mars rock samples. Good idea. I don't think he's ever even cleaned that thing. Into the cleaning chamber, Hawk! Cleaning procedure commencing. Oh, oh. Hey, watch it! Careful! <laughs> that tickles! Protective seal applied. Mmm, smells like my grandma's house. Well, how do I look? Like you're ready to look for life on Mars. Let's go, guys. You can bring the samples back in these containers. And remember, don't touch those rocks with anything but Hawk's super clean claw. Mars, here we come. Za, za, zoo! All right, time to find us some aliens. Keep an eye out for slimy green skin and tentacles. <laughs> those aren't the kind of aliens we're after. We're here to collect rocks. If there is life on Mars, it's probably tiny, like bacteria. Only things you can see through a microscope. Yeah, I guess you're right. Look out. There's an alien right behind you! Ah! <laughs> it's just some rocks. Gotcha. Hey, why don't we make those our first samples? Hold it, Eagle! Coot said we can only touch the samples with my super clean claw, remember? Oh, right. After you, Hockey. Stand by for sample collection. Standing by. Snag them and bag them, guys. Snag. And bag. Almost there. 
one more sample and we're good to go. Coming up. Uh-oh. Everything okay, Hawk? Oh, I think I'm coming down with a cold. Here's the last sample. There's a mug of warm rocket fuel back at the lab with your name on it, buddy. Let's get home. Great work. A closer look under the microscope will tell us if there's anything living on these rocks. Well, Coot, did we find aliens? No sign yet, Hawk. And no life on that one. Nothing on this one either. How long do you think it'll take us to go through all these rocks? We'll be through all this quicker than a shooting star. <laughs> something? <laughs> you betcha I did! Look! Life! That rock is covered in bacteria! Do you know what this means, kids? You just discovered the first ever creatures from another planet! You did it! You found aliens! I've got to tell Headmaster Crane! <laughs> Congratulations, cadets, on being the first space explorers to discover extraterrestrial life. Thanks, Headmaster. Coot said you had something to show us? Yes. This is my wall of discovery. Anytime a member of the Academy makes an important discovery, they go on the wall. Look, it's Coot! Check out his glasses. Soon your discovery will hang here, too. And now, I have decided to award you the honor of being the first to study these new life forms. We'll get to the lab and start work right away! Here they are! The three space pioneers who found life on Mars! <laughs> Robin, can I get your autograph? <laughs> sure you can, spark plug. Robin, can I get a screw? What's it like to be the first explorer to find alien life? How's it feel to be the most famous cadets in Stardust Space Academy history? How's it feel? Let me show you. It feels like... Alright, folks, show's over. These cadets have important work to do. And by finding bacteria on a rock from Mars, these three cadets discovered life on another planet. Congratulations to Stardust Bay's Heroes of Science. Hear that? He called us heroes. <gasps> oh, too bad heroes can still catch cold. Aw, look at the little guys. You're so cute. Yes, you are. I'm going to call you Eagle Jr. And you can be Eagle Jr. the second. There's something really familiar about this bacteria. <laughs> oh, lug nuts! Hawk! Let me see your thoughts. Oh, no. You both better take a look at this. Uh-oh. What that means? We gotta tell Coot. Coot! We have something we need to show you about the bacteria. <laughs> hey, where's Professor Coot? And why is all his stuff in boxes? Coot left already. I saw you guys on TV. It was so cool. They said how you found life on Mars, and now you're famous and... Whoa. Is that... the rock? Can I touch it? Coot left? Left for where? We have something important to show him. For Mars, of course. He says he's gonna go live on Mars to look for more bacteria. Mars? We have to stop him and tell him what we found. When's he going? I think blast off is in T minus three, two, one. Blast off! We're too late. Not yet. We're not. Prepare for takeoff. Booster rockets. And yes. Yes. Got time for a few questions? We can't talk right now. Off to Mars to help Coop find more extraterrestrial life. I bet. Ah, uh, right. I gotta go. Booster rockets. There you have it, folks. The space racers are headed for Mars. Coot! Coot! Wait! Ah, Kidditch! 
come to help me collect more Martian bacteria? Don't leave, Coot. We made a huge mistake. We never found bacteria on Mars after all. It was all a big mix-up. Hawk accidentally sneezed on the Mars rock, covering it in Earth's bacteria. Back home, I recognized the same bacteria from Hawk's claw. So, there is no life on Mars after all? Oh, I didn't mean it, Coot. So everybody thought the bacteria on the rock was aliens, but really it was just Hawk sneeze, and now everyone's gonna be mad, and then we're gonna... Don't you worry, kids. Come on! Hey, let's get back to the lab. We'll need another sample of Hawk's nose cone bacteria to verify that. One bacteria sample? As requested. Yeah, thanks, Hawk. Uh, yeah, looks like you were right. The life you found on Mars was Earth life all along. We're sorry, Coot. Are you mad? Far from it, Eagle. Making sure a discovery is correct is a vital element of scientific research. We just got unlucky this time. I'm sorry to hear your discovery was proven to be false. But as a wise rocket once said, it is better to find a harsh truth than to get lost in a lie. But for the important role that Hawk's nose cone bacteria played in the day's events, I think the famous handkerchief deserves a place on the wall of fame. <laughs> Way to go, Hockey! Huh? Huh? Uh-oh. I think I feel another discovery coming on! Oops! Oops! <laughs> 